Hey guys, I'm Angela and welcome back to Hobby Night. Today I have a very special video for you, one that I have been anticipating making ever since I moved. That's right, it's finally time to take a tour of the new Hobby Night studio. Let me uh, just get off this table and we'll get started. There we go, let's go. Welcome to the new Hobby Night Studio. Let's go ahead and get this tour started, shall we? I wanna start right here in our new dueling room, name pending. I, that's kind of what I like calling it though, because this is where the Chaos Cultists and I do, 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 duel. As you can see, we've gotten this room actually quite decorated. I think this is one of our most put together rooms. And the reason why I love this is because this is where we're planning on playing board games. This is where we're gonna play our Magic Gathering games. We have this, epic chandelier and as soon as i saw this when we took the tour of this place i knew that we had to put the hobby night table here it just felt like it fit and i think this is one of the first rooms that chaos Cultus and i fully agreed on we're like this is what we're doing we're doing it we put some lego in here which i really enjoyed so all of our star wars lego has for the majority of the parts ended up in this room along with my lightsabers and we did this really cool display on the wall which i absolutely love we sort of started this in our last place but didn't really fully fully flesh it out and now we have an even bigger wall space to do stuff with so i'm absolutely loving it additionally we also have some magic the gathering storage over here as well as some of our hung art and everything and i'm just ah, i'm gonna say this a lot through this whole tour i am loving this space we got a new shelf. We put all of our Magic Gathering stuff on it because as you probably have seen, I've been really obsessed with buying collector packs and starting to play Commander. And that's what this room is really set up for. I mean, board gaming too, but like, man, I just can't wait to play a bunch of Magic here. Now, you might be thinking, but Angela, you have your board game table in here, but uh, where are the board games? Well, come along, let me show you. Well, here they are. Well, at least part of them. We do actually have them sort of spread out, but all of the board games now live in the living room. Now, I didn't really organize these in any particular way. I did kind of keep a lot of my favorites over here because these are all my adventure games and a lot of the ones that have miniatures in them. And I'm a sucker for a game with miniatures in it. I, what can I say? But I do have a variety of other ones over here as well. And we also have some of our video games, including a lot of our retro gaming consoles, which this display is sort of still in the works. Not really know how we're actually going to end up finalizing everything, but I'm really liking how it's going so far. I think it's really cool that we get to have our retro consoles out and available for people to see. Additionally, we use the storage in the uh, display that you guys probably saw me build if you watched my live stream, where all of the accessories for a lot of the board games live because there's a lot of them. And I didn't want them taking up shelf space specifically. So we have additional board games over here and. This one is kind of where I just started to organize them by height and whether or not they were like two player or not or two player friendly. And then it just kind of went from there. So not too worried about the organization. I think it looks pretty good and I'm really excited for just having all these shelves filled back up with all my board games. When they were in boxes, it made me so sad. The remaining portion of, oh, actually, before we talk about the remaining board games, you might notice outside, I actually have a like balcony little backyard area. And I plan on doing some gardening out there as well as some grilling out there, as well as some sunbathing out there. So I don't know if you'll see any of that, but um, I'm looking forward to it at least. Now, let's get back to the board games because we have a huge more variety here. I kind of shoved all of my littlest board games like haphazardly here. Don't look at that pile too long. And then additionally, I have some of the Lego out. No, 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 stop. Look at the Lego. Okay. It's kind of, well, you don't have to get that close. My goodness. Um, it's kind of mix matched right now. Listen, the Lego is an estate. We're going to talk about the Lego some more when we go upstairs, but this will be filled out and it'll look prettier later. We have two kitties who are majestically sunbathing in their now spot. Look how close they actually are together. Oh, they don't wow. normally get that close. Oh, this is a rare moment. It is. Aren't they so cute? I love them. But over here, this shelf you might recognize actually. This is where all the Monkey Kid Lego used to live. And I do think it's gonna end up coming back here. It just uh, hasn't been unpacked yet, guys. 
Um, but the, we're actually nearing the kitchen now. So let's talk a little bit more about that because well, I'm not really super interested in showing you the kitchen too much, although I do, I am thinking about doing some cooking streams. So if you're interested in that, let me know down in the comments. But the main thing I want to show you is what's in this pantry because uh, you saw my short recently. You probably already know, but for those of that you that haven't, let me uh, show you. This is where all of my unbuilt, still in box miniatures live. And it's kind of a lot, I'm sorry. Welcome to the Hobby Night store. Uh, that's really how this room makes me feel, but legitimately this space is way too big for two people's worth of food, okay? So I was like, yeah. what we, am I- We do have food in here, there we is do. food. We do have food in here, but like, I don't need all of this space for food, okay? So I was like, what am I gonna do with this area? I wanted to be able to see these things more so that I actually could pull them out of their boxes and start working on them because previously they were kind of shoved away and hidden so I couldn't ever look at them and I kind of forgot what I had and holy cow it's a lot although the blood bowl the blood bowl is recent I was gifted that recently thank you for panda you're great um but like yes I love this pantry it's probably one of my favorite rooms in the house which is funny because it's also one of the smallest rooms in the house but um this is just the unbuilt pile of shame slash opportunity. And that description might make you go, well, where's your built pile of shame? Well, that's going to be the next room we visit. Let's go. Now, you might remember in my old space up on the mezzanine where the wargaming table was. Well, now it has arrived up here, along with all of my terrain, all of the painted miniatures, and of course, that unspoken built unpainted horn. Uh, we're not gonna pay too much attention to them, but they, they live down here, isolated. Don't look at them too hard. They're, they're naked, no one wants to see them right now. We also have a bunch of terrain, which is also mostly unpainted, but we get to work on that. I'm very, working very on it. We're working on it, we're working on it. And I actually really like just having these pieces out so that they're super easily accessible and we can do a variety of different boards because before we kind of just kept a few pieces and didn't really do that much variety. In addition, we've also got a little bit of art up, including our Eldar painting, which I absolutely love. I think it looks majestic. And we've started doing a little bit of displaying of our, well, sheer volume of rule books and codices and all of that stuff, because good lord. Well, this is just the game's workshop. Yeah, you're right. This is just the game's workshop. This isn't even all the D&D stuff or RPG books or anything like that. And then, of course, you might also recognize this space right here, because I spent several streams in front of these cabinets putting all of the painted minis out. And I have to say, I actually really, really like how the display has gone. We do seem to be missing a couple of things. And I'm not sure where they are. I still need to find them, but for the most part, everything's in here. And I was able to find my additional clear shelving that I've been putting in the backs of these so that I could expand and like, make these miniatures breathe a little bit more, specifically on the Eldar side, because it was just very cramped. But I love how it's looking. Now, this space right now kind of feels a little blank and dead or whatever, but don't worry. We're actually using some shelving for this as well. And later on, we'll get a little bit of an update because uh, this is where the Joy Toy is going to live. And I have realized that I have actually an even larger collection than I thought because just before moving, Joy Toy had sent me a full box of a bunch of stuff that I have not even opened yet. So the display is going to be epic. I can't wait. I'll probably do a stream where we're actually setting it all up and then do a little mini video where I just show off what is here because I plan on putting them in poses and like some cool scenes. And it's gonna be so cool. I can't wait to show it to you. But for right now, it's just a dark wall, which I'm very happy with. This was done by the previous tenant too, which I was like, I like your, I like your style. I like the choices you've made. Now, let's go ahead and head over here because we have a couple more rooms to talk about, including that Lego room that I mentioned that um, is in a state. So let's check it out. Hey guys, I'm just jumping into the video to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content that you find here. And if you're into the spicier side of the hobby, then I invite you to join my VIP page. New subscribers get 50% off their first month's subscription. I hope to see you there. Now, let's go ahead and get back to the video. Now, before we go in here, I have to warn you, it is a mess, don't judge me, but this is going to be the Lego room. Um, it's as I mentioned, kind of a mess. There are things everywhere, but it is coming along. Unfortunately, the Lego is just taking the longest to unpack, honestly, because it's also the most fragile. And we I also, will say- We also need shelving. We also need shelving. Uh, I will say, I am very happy to say that while I have had a few breaks, 
Overall, my method for transporting the Lego by wrapping it up and sort of laying it onto each other has worked. There's, like I said, there's been a few things. There's been a few things that have broken, mostly the Avengers Tower. Um, but we'll fix that and uh, get everything back to, to, to looking cool. And honestly, filling this space up, I plan on putting a table in here so I can actually do some working on Lego in here as well. We also need to set up the city. And we need to set up the city, which I cannot wait to do. And I do think I will be bringing some Lego streams back to the channel once this is in a more workable state and I can actually access the kits and start working on the city again. Cause I think that would be really, really fun. I don't know if I'll do any videos on it specifically, but definitely some streams. But Angela. What? Uh, these bit Lego. Uh -huh. Those are toys. Those aren't Lego. Oh, there are some toys. There are some toys. Don't want this. Yes. Toy, toy Lego room. Yes. But these Lego, these Lego are all built. What, whatever would you build? Um. Well, if you just squeeze past here, you can see in my closet. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna hand you this. Is what's gonna happen. There you go. Hello. And you're gonna shoot it yourself. And there we go. And uh, here's where all the unbuilt stuff is. Look at all that beautiful monkey kid that I need to build. But we also have a bunch of Star Wars, including some of the new stuff, which I'm very excited to do. Uh, look at all those clones. The Dungeons and Dragons set, which I think actually, like legit, this might be the first one that I build on stream because it'll be multiple streams probably because it'll just oh, be very yeah, long. Be. But like, it's really cool. Yeah, We've also yeah. got some other stuff there. And then, <laughs> I don't have a problem. You have a problem. What are you talking about? Um, there's there's a lot. What can I say? What can I say? There's just, there's a lot of Lego. I own a lot of Lego. I like plastic, okay? I don't know what it is about the hard, shiny stuff, but it just gets my blood boiling. I love it. Now, speaking of getting our blood boiling, we have this room here, which I will not be opening the door to because there are some things in this room that YouTube will very much frown upon me for. So we won't be taking a look. It's also a complete and utter mess. It's the least put together room that is in this house right now. But I do officially have my very own OF room and I have some very fun plans for it. So be looking forward to that for those of you that are on that page. Now, I wanna talk about one final room that I think is probably the most important, but it's also the one you have probably seen the most of since the move. And that is going to be directly behind you in the hobby room. Let's go. And finally, we've arrived at what I would actually call the Hobby Night Studio space, very specifically, because this is where everything happens. Now let's start over here because we've got some cool stuff happening on these shelves. And I do love all of my toys and showing them off. So I've got a variety of different things here. We actually have a ton of our Warhammer RPGs over here, as well as some of our D&D &D RPGs, like the more common ones that we use most often. Some books, of course, some action figures, some of my AEW favorites up here, as well as some of the chases that I've gotten, as well as our Power Rangers collection, which I just really like the box art on these, as well as the figures. Of course, some hobby supplies, which is actually extremely nice having directly behind me because I could just turn in my chair and grab the contrast paints that I need. And then we, of course, have some books over here, including our Horus Heresy collection and a variety of other just fun things to read and browse. Now, this is where the hobby desk is. And you guys have probably seen this because I have been starting to do some streams in this room at this desk, specifically working on my Blood Bowl team. They're coming along. I've actually finally got some of the vampires primed up thanks to the Chaos Cultist who helped me with that. And I should be getting them started very, very soon. We've also set up all of our paints and I actually think the majority of our paints are now out. I bought a brand new display case for being able to store the paints just before we move. Never built it and set it up, but we do have it up now. And I'm just so excited to have all of this out so that I can actually get my creative engines going again in doing things. Now, additionally, I'd like to show you our little closet, which has a lot of our D&D miniatures. Actually, you wanna talk about some more unpainted, uh, but already built miniatures. Those cases over there in the top. Reaper bones. All the Reaper bones. All of the Reaper bones. We also have a lot of just our D&D accessories. I worked on this. If you're wondering why it's here, I worked on it. That's why That's we that. have it. That's why we have it. As well as our other RPGs, a lot of our indie stuff, some of the smaller published things, as well as like Shadowrun and a couple of those types of Some books. old World of Darkness. Some old World of Darkness, which I just absolutely love. And then finally, we have the computers. 
which is probably where you've seen me the most because I've been doing not only streaming here for the news when I've been doing hobby news, but over on my gaming channel, I've also been sitting here a lot playing either Fallout New Vegas or like we'll be doing later tonight over on the hobby gaming channel, we'll be playing some more Space Marine 2. And I am loving it. I'm also absolutely just loving the space. And while the initial news of us having to move was extremely scary, and I really wasn't sure what that was going to mean for us, I am extremely happy with how things have turned out and your guys' support has really made that happen. So thank you guys so much for being here, for subscribing to the channel and just watching my content. I hope you enjoyed the tour today. And before I head out, I do wanna give a huge thank you to not only my patrons, but also my YouTube members. Without your guys' support, we would not be able to do this. So thank you very, very much for being here. I will see you guys all next time. Have an absolutely wonderful hobby night. And I have an Angela. Bye guys. Forbidden room. What's up with a forbidden room? We're gonna see what's going on in here. Oh!